A fairly natural question to ask is, what's the average of all these blood pressure readings? Okay, now we're going to use, I mean, there, there are different kinds of averages. We're really talking about an arithmetic average here. Uh, and, but we're going to give that a special name. We're going to give that the name of the mean. Now, how would we get the mean or the average of a bunch of numbers? Well, you know that what we do is we add all the numbers up and divide by how many there are. So we add the numbers on. Again, if we look at the numbers here, we go 135, 128, and so on, ending at 142. And that's what these dots mean here, 135, 128, and we end at 142. If we add those up, and if I've added them up correctly, which is questionable, I think we get 2,815. Now, there were 20 readings, so what's the mean? Well, I guess that the mean would be the total over the number of readings, which is 2,815 over 20 which would be 140.75. So there we have the mean. Fairly simple calculation. Now, we're going to use some notation to designate these kinds of calculations. We have the summation notation, which you should be but may not be familiar with. Uh, this just means you add up all of whatever X stands for. In this case, the X values would stand for the blood pressures, 135, 128, and so on. So that the summation sign in front of the X means we add up all the X's. We add up all these values. And that's what we did when we got the 2815. N equals 20. N stands for, well, the number of whatever it is you're averaging. So the sum of X really stands for your total. The N in this example was the number of readings. In general, it's the number of things that you have to add up to get your total. And that's how we get the mean. Again, it's the total, the sum of all the numbers, divided by the number of things that we added up. And right there we have just a little note that the sum of X means the sum of the X values, 135 plus 128 and so on, to get the 2815.